Honey is a natural food. And what's different about honey versus sugar has a lower glycemic index. Because it has a lower glycemic index, it's going to absorb slower into the cells. Now, people are saying, well, honey is sugar. First of all, we have to realize that we don't drink tons of honey like we drink sugar. How can we compare honey to those who are drinking fruit juices or sodas or just sugar in their, their drinks all day long? You can't compare it. When we're talking about honey, we're talking about a small amount of honey because honey is sweeter than most of these sugars. So let's talk about just briefly raw honey. If you're going to take honey, the best thing I can tell you to do is raw natural honey, period. There are different kinds of honey. There's the blossom. There's all different depending upon the parts of the world. There's manuka. Um, and while we talk about manuka, manuka is one of the best when it comes down to ulcers, healing the stomach, as well as topical uh, sores, uh, areas of, uh, of, of conditions where maybe diabetes have uh, problems with healing, open wounds. So we'll go into that just a bit. Uh, so... When we look at people who are hypoglycemic, people who are diabetic, who are pre-diabetic, okay, first of all, I'll tell you that if your sugar is out of whack, I don't care what sugar you're putting in your body, you need to be aware of. But if most diabetics that are controlled, most pre-diabetics are controlled, people who have a, a normal glucose level or a stable glucose level, honey is so helpful for you. But here's the trick. The trick is, is that it's always best if you have a doubt, particularly with your health condition, take it with food, particularly with fiber. Fiber will slow the assimilation of honey into the cells. Take it with fats. Fats will slow the assimilation of, 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 of sugar in the cells as well as protein. So you're always safe to take it with fiber, fats, and proteins versus by itself if you have any doubt. So if you're drinking honey or you put honey on oatmeal or if you're putting honey on your peanut butter, if you're eating it with you know, a uh, whole wheat that has fiber in it, guess what? That fiber is going to slow the absorption of that honey. So I want to throw that out to you. The key thing about honey, it has major anti-inflammatory properties. It's an antioxidant. The nutrients and enzymes in honey, think about this. The way, it's, the way nature made honey, it has enzymes. And what are enzymes? These are specific chemicals that cause specific chemical reactions in the body that make things happen by itself. So instead of using our enzymes that we already have enzymes in the food. And that's the, that's the beauty of honey. That's the beauty of fruits. It's the beauty of vegetables. Beauty of anything that's grown from the earth is it has enzymes. And enzymes is the magic when it comes to healing. Enzymes is the magic when it comes to digestion. So if there are already enzymes and nutrients in the honey, then obviously it's better than plain stripped sugar in any, in any, any time. So I'm going to throw the pros and the cons out to you. Now, if you think about it, it's already proven to show that honey has studies that show that it lowers LDLs, okay? It raises your HDL cholesterol. It can lower triglycerides. It may not be like 50, 60 points, but we're talking about it can, and it can do much more in some than others, depending upon your diet, depending upon your genetics, depending upon your obesity or habits or stresses. Um, so if you look at it from an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties, what it does what are antioxidants? Well, we have these free radicals. They come from our food. They come from the things we breathe in. The free radicals are like Pac-Man. They gnaw at us. They gnaw at the arteries. They gnaw at the blood vessels. They cause inflammation in the body. So these particular foods, particularly in honey, has antioxidants that help against, against free radicals. So what do free radicals do? They cause inflammation. What causes clogging of the arteries? Inflammation. It's not from high cholesterol. It's inflammation. It's picking up the LDLs and the inner lumen of the, of, the, of, the, of the artery. It's picking up the placking and slowly grows, but it's inflammation. So from an inflammatory and anti-inflammatory point of view, how can people knock honey if it helps with inflammation? It's so important. So I want to try to get you to the big picture, okay? But remember, if you just tuned in, we're not talking about loads of honey. We're talking about a little bit of honey, okay? And these are some little tips on the ways you should eat it, ways you shouldn't. Now, think about this. Your grandmother, your mother, or grandmother, or great-grandmother, what about the common cold? What about the sore throat? What about the mucolytic, the mucolytic effects in my lungs, the phlegm, the mucus, the sinuses? 
how can anyone not honey? Think about it. If you take honey, warm it up, put a little lemon in it if you want, or just take the plain honey with water and drink it, a little part to a big glass of water, it's going to do miracles for you because it's going to help remove the mucus. Would you rather take a drug for mucus or take something from Mother Nature? So these things most people don't think about. And I'm, I'm, I want to kind of put this in the brain so it can process it so you may not be that person that knocks honey because you're on a keto diet or you're saying oh, that sugar is bad. If you're on a keto diet, it's okay. It's okay to have sugars. You're not going up to, you know, about 50, 60, 70, 80 grams a day. I'm talking a few grams. But look at the miraculous healing medicinal properties of what we're talking about. Where can you put something on the counter and let it sit there for years and it never rots? Think about it. There's something strong in that honey that keeps it from spoiling. Well, it's those antimicrobial things or, 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 or enzymes and that's within it that keeps it fresh. Okay, so that's what goes on. Now, it's rich in antioxidants. Uh, it has these flavonoids in there. We know it has antioxidant powers that we talked about. So what about heart attacks, strokes, certain types of cancers? What about eye health? It's all about antioxidants. Honey has less bad sugars than what you think it is, okay? Because it's filled with these enzymes, okay? And yes, if you boil enzymes at a real high, high temperature, you can affect those enzymes, okay? Like any other food, uh, but it has enzymes. And I just want you to understand the benefits of it because if we can reduce these inflammatory conditions and lower triglycerides and lower H, raise our HDLs, lower the LDLs, we're only doing plus plus for our body, okay? It's proven that it can help lower blood pressure in certain conditions, all right? There's not a lot of studies out, but it's out there. It, it can reduce blood pressure. As we said, it improves cholesterol, triglycerides, um, and heart health because what is it doing? It potentially can vasodilate the arterioles within the heart, similar to like what beet juice can do. There are some studies out there as it, again, presents the oxidative stress, but as it dilates the arteries, we get more blood supply. So for heart health, there are some studies out there. Now let's talk about wounds. Um, my favorite thing for wounds is obviously Manuka honey. Uh, let's talk about acne, that if you have acne, eczema, psoriasis, putting honey directly over it, the antimicrobial effects on that can do wonders. It can cause hydration in there. It can prevent wrinkles or actually help wrinkles. It can hydrate the skin. So it's a lot of wonderful things. Now, because honey is water soluble, mixing with oils, most of the oils are not going to really work. But with coconut oil, they found mixing honey with coconut oil, half and half, putting it on your face, leave it on about a half hour has done wonders. Putting honey directly on the skin of the face, 10, 15 minutes, washing off with a, a warm, hot uh, cloth and uh, using some, you know, maybe your serum or your moisturizer after. But honey can do lots of good things for pimples, eczema, uh, for blackheads as well. Uh, the studies are out there. So I want to share it. Real big for coughs, real big for sore throats. Um, they've done the studies. They show that compared to the medicine, medicines and cough medicines, it's better. It in, in helping coughs, they say it's better. Not only better, but safer. Um, so there's some really interesting things out there. And I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it. They compared this to even eucalyptus, to other placebo things. And they found that uh, it's extremely helpful, beneficial. I do not recommend honey for children or babies. I'm sorry, babies under one years of age for certain reasons. Okay, that's what the studies say. Um, choosing the right kind of honey, all honeys will have benefits, although you want to make sure it's raw. Uh, you want to make sure there's no additives. There's no uh, sweeteners added to it. Uh, nothing that's been processed because once you process it, you're going to kill the, anti, the, the enzymes and the good antimicrobial effects inside of it. It's going to wipe it out when it's processed. So raw is always good. Uh, and again, certain raw ones may be better than others, depending upon what, which ones you get. But when it comes down to like ulcers, stomach, soothing the stomach, using honey with like green tea, excellent. Drinking honey with tea, particularly chamomile tea or valerian root before you go to bed to make you sleep like a baby. I hope you really enjoyed this program. I enjoyed it. I think it's an important program because it's something that we're always going to be facing all the time. Even if you're on keto, yes, you can have honey. 
It's all about how much. Remember, honey is sweeter. You don't need a whole, a whole lot, but look at the medicinal healing properties, what it does for you. And I think that will kind of summarize everything. God bless you and your family. Stay well, and we'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye-bye now.